All the things that, that used to consume you, dead in the ground, died with him. But wait, but wait. He died so that we would get back up and live for him. The new has come. Well, what new? New desires to please God. New loves, new priorities, a new eternal perspective. See, a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God. All this. The whole process of salvation. He says, all of this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us what? The ministry of of reconciliation it says that it says that look at this again one more time verse 18 all this is from God who through Christ through Jesus the work that he did reconciled us to himself he brought us back to himself he made peace between us and gave us the ministry of reconciliation so go do the same thing now look that is in Christ God was reconciling the world to himself not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us, look, so here's where the weight comes in at. Jesus is Lord. I need to do what he says. He says, make disciples. Making disciples is making more followers of Jesus. That means people that obey him. Okay, what's the motivation? My love for God and the fact that I've been reconciled to him. I know this eternal creator now, and I want other people to know him. This is where it's at. So he says, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us, entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Now look, now look, you, you may say, oh, okay, well, that's cool, but look at this. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ God making his appeal through us. Do you understand that? That God dwelling in us, the Holy Spirit living in us, has given us this ministry of reconciliation to bring people that are lost back to the Father. And he says that we have been entrusted with this message of reconciliation that, think about this, that God would make his appeal to the lost through you. This is incredible. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. And it says, for our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. We have no righteousness of our own, but thank God for Jesus that he would become our righteousness, and now, now we are the righteousness of God. 